time to be able to. I need my advance on the Ladies and gentlemen, today is senior day at Tuscaloosa University. And the Tuscaloosa University athletics family would like to recognize the senior members of the women's soccer team prior to today's game. Our first senior honoree today is number four, Yvette Ryan. Yvette is from the Netherlands. She has played 69 career matches for the Pioneers, making 51 starts. She has 10 goals and 5 assists for 25 points. And Yvette is a perfect 6 for 6 on penalty kicks in her career. She earned a Bachelor's of Arts degree in Sport Management in December of 2020 and is pursuing her MBA. She is a member of the Athletic Director's Honor Roll, the daughter of Marcel and Corinne Ryan. Today she is being escorted by teammates Peyton Bledsoe, Ashley Wagner, and Christina Aranzo. Ladies and gentlemen, number four, Yvette Ryan. Our next senior is number 14, Caitlin Watson. Caitlin has started all 60 matches of her Tusculum career from her debut in the fall of 2018. She has three goals and 11 assists in her career. Two of her goals have been game winners. Caitlin is a member of the SAC Commissioner's Honor Roll and the Athletic Director's Honor Roll. She's majoring in psychology and is being escorted today by her parents, Jane and Keith McCroskey and sister Abby. From Murfreesboro, Tennessee, number 14, Caitlin Watson. Our next senior is number 20, Alyssa Singh. Melissa is from Friendsville, Tennessee. She is a three-year member of the Tuscaloosa program and has been a member of the developmental squad. She is a member of the SAC Commissioner's Honor Roll and Athletic Director's Honor Roll. She is majoring in business management and she is the daughter of Rocky and Christy Sane. Ladies and gentlemen, number 20, Alyssa Sane. Our next senior, number 23, Chase Stonebreaker. Chase has made 38 career appearances for the Pioneers, including 29 starts. She has one career goal. She is a member of the Athletic Director's Honor Roll. Chase is majoring in sports science. She's joined by her parents, Mark and Denise Stonebreaker, and brother, Bentley. Ladies and gentlemen, from Chandler, Texas, number 23, Chase Stonebreaker. Our next senior is number 25, Caitlin Jones. Caitlin is from Chucky, Tennessee. She has played 21 career matches for the Pioneers with 16 starts on defense. She is the recipient of the Tuscaloosa Student Athlete Academic Award each of the last two years. And she's a member of the SAC Commissioner's Honor Roll and the Athletic Director's Honor Roll. Caitlin is majoring in psychology. She is escorted by her parents, Doug and Don Jones, and sister Allison. Ladies and gentlemen, number 25, Caitlin Jones. Our next senior, number 38, Haley Murphy. Haley is from Monsheim, Tennessee. She's a four-year member of the program. Wednesday, she made her first career varsity appearance. She is a member of the Athletic Director's Honor Roll. She is majoring in biology. She is the daughter of Jessica Payne and David Murphy. And she is joined today also by her siblings. Ladies and gentlemen, number 38, Haley Murphy. And our final senior today is number 40, Brianna Oates. Bria is from Wellington, Florida. She is a two-year member of the program, and she has one career assist in 14 matches. Bria is a member of the SAC Commissioner's Honor Roll and Athletic Director's Honor Roll. She is also a member of the Tuscaloosa Track and Field Team. She's majoring in criminal justice. She is the daughter of Tony Oates and Kirsten Hendon. Ladies and gentlemen, number 40, Brianna Oates. And we'd also like to recognize our two fifth-year seniors. First, number two, Kenzie Ellenberg. Kenzie's a three-time All-South Atlantic Conference honoree. She has nine goals and two assists in 73 career matches, including 70 starts. She's a member of the SAC Commissioners and Athletic Directors Honor Roll. She's majoring in business management, and she is the daughter of Kelly and Sid Ellenberg. Ladies and gentlemen, number two, Kenzie Ellenberg. And number 39, Elise Gallo. Elise is from Davidson, North Carolina. She's played 60 career matches, making 16 starts. She has three goals and four assists for 10 points. 
She's a member of the athletic director's honor roll. She earned her bachelor's degree in business administration back in May, and she is pursuing her MBA. She's the daughter of Gary and Nicole Gallo, and being escorted today by a former teammate, Indy Joe Swanson, and Megan McKinney. Ladies and gentlemen, number 39, Elise Gallo. Congratulations to our Tuscaloosa University women's soccer seniors. First seed in the Ice Walker Sports Complex and Pioneer Field for today's South Atlantic Conference Women's Soccer Match featuring our guests, the Catawba College Indians and your Tuscan University Pioneers. Reminder, the seating for Tuscan soccer matches is open in the main grandstand only. There is no seating behind the benches or behind the goals. Also, the NCAA and Tuscan University prohibit the use of tobacco products in any Pioneer athletic event. This includes smoking and smokeless tobacco products. South Atlanta Conference and its member institutions promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting participants and officials in a positive manner. For vanity, racial, or sexist comments or intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated under rounds removal from Pioneer Field. We thank you for your support of Tuscan Athletics and the South Atlanta Conference. Now let's welcome the starting lineups for today's match. First for our guests from Catawba. The starting goalkeeper is a senior from Mooresville, North Carolina, double zero, Jamie Kazenmeyer. A sophomore from Statesville, North Carolina, number four, Helen Summerall. Junior from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, number six, Katie Webb. Sophomore from Shelburne, Vermont, number nine, Sydney Jimmo. A senior from Hickory, North Carolina, number 10, Giovanna Sanchez. Junior from Huntersville, North Carolina, number 11, Mackenzie Johnson. A redshirt freshman from Colorado Springs, Colorado, number 15, Sharon Mays. Redshirt freshman from Davidson, North Carolina, number 17, Casey Hahn. Junior from Claremont, Florida, number 22, Katie Beck. Retro freshman from Hickory, North Carolina, number 24, Aiden Vaughn. The sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio, number 29, Kelly Haven. The head coach of the Cobb Indians is Nick Brown.
Now let's welcome the starting lineup for your Tuscan University Pioneers. Starting goal of freshman from Perkinsy, Pennsylvania, number zero, Brooklyn Hudgens. A senior from Austin, Tennessee, number two, Kenzie Allenberg. Sophomore from Pamplona, Spain, number three, Christina Aranzo. A grad student from the Netherlands, number four, Yvette Ryan. Freshman from Cincinnati, Ohio, number five, Maya Gerdillo. A junior from Cortez, Ontario, number six, Arissa Tibble. A junior from Mackworth, Georgia, number eight, Brianna Garcia. Junior from Fort Worth, Texas, number 10, Bailey by Lotus. Senior from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, number 14, Caitlin Watson. A freshman from San Antonio, Texas, number 15, Kate Benny. And a senior from Chandler, Texas, number 23, Chase Stonebreaker. Head coach of the Pioneers is Mike Joy, associate head coach of Justice Fife, grad assistant is Javier Villa, volunteer assistant Chelsea Sheeran, and the head athletic trainer is Chris Lenker. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we ask that you please rise as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem. Today it will be performed by Tusculum senior, number 25, Caitlin Jones. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last we meet, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the reports we watched were so gallantly streaming. Ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin Jones. Welcome, Pioneer fans, to the Pioneer Sports Network, presented by the Sakita Digital Network. So, this is a game between the Tosco Pioneers and the Taba Indians. Oh, 
the sophomore Christina Iranza. Number four, Ben Ryan, a graduate student from the Netherlands. Number five, Maya Gogolo, freshman from Cincinnati, Ohio. Number six, Arisa Timo, a junior from Ontario. Number eight, Brianna Garcia, junior from uh, Acre, Georgia. Number 10, Bailey Balotas. Number 14, uh, senior from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Kellen Watson. Number 15, Kate Binney, uh, freshman from San Antonio, Texas. And number 23, uh, senior from Chatler, Texas, Chase Stormbreaker. And the game is on the way. As the uh, Indians got their first corner kick on, of the game. He'll be number 17, Casey Han. Kicking that ball, looking at the first pole, and the head, the header from Sarah Mais leaves the field. Getting close to the uh, goal defended uh, this afternoon by Brittany Hopkins. Really tough uh, end of the schedule for the women uh, soccer team as they. They're facing, uh, they faced uh, earlier this week, uh, Flagger, um, number nine from the, in the country. Uh, they're facing uh, this week, um, Katana, who's number eight. And again, the decision will be against Queens. Uh, and Carissa, ranked third in the region. A really, really tough end of the schedule for the, for the, we even check the team here at Tuscan. Uh, I said uh, Flagler Bay was Columbus State, uh, who they um, played uh, earlier this week with a five, a really tough five to nothing loss. The Indians with the ball. And the six at Katie Webb. Web uh, playing with uh, Mace on uh, defensive position. Web trying to make a move, long ball. It's uh, blocked by Maya Gardulo. There's a team of now with the pass looking for Ellenberg. And Lotus. Diana Garcia. Garcia. Nice run by Ellenberg that she's gonna get on the box. With a weak shot straight to the hands of uh, Jamie Kensemeyer. Indians again with the ball. Aiden Long looking for number four, Ellen Summerhill. On the left side. And Gordula. Some pressure, forced to uh, kick the ball. And, and, and getting the throwing for the Indians. Indians with the throwing. Now uh, by Lotus and the recover, this is that ball. We're going to start with another, with a new play. He runs under pressure. Ryan. Looking, looking for a foul Lotus. He's again with the ball. And that's going to be an offside. He's going to kick that ball. Long pass. Uh, on the right side for Alotas. That's now under pressure. The ball is for uh, Summerhill. The Dula running to third. And the Dula was the last one to hit the ball. He will be a corner kick for the Indians. The 
Demons with the throw in. It's gonna be passed. Well defended by Garcia who kicked the ball uh, away. It leads uh, to the touch line. It will be a throw in for the Indians. Lady Webb with the ball. Looking for Kate Bogan. Bogan playing with Webb again. Long pass. And then has the advantage there. He passes it to Cordula. Uh, Cordula. It's a long pass in the middle. Looking for Urancho. Urancho controls the ball. Passes it to Watson. Watson with some pressure. He's taking it in time. That was a nice shot. That was a nice, a nice try looking for um, Stonebreaker. He was wide open on the right side of the field. Balls for Indians now. They call the ball recorded by Watson. Watson looking for Bennett. Bennett with Balotas. Balotas on the pass. Hit it up. A defender from the Indians, I think it was number 17, Casey Hunt. And the ball is again from the point. Ballenberg with the ball. Looking for to change the size of the of the play. Looking for a, a stone breaker. She couldn't get there. Garcia really fast and not throwing. Looking for by Lotus. By Lotus with Garcia. Garcia with the cross pass. Blocked by a defender. Another cross pass. Blocked again. And Ellenburg got the ball out of the penalty kick. She should have taken to that ball a bit forced. Now the Indians going to attack fast. They need the ball. We are throwing for the Indians. Uh, side of the field with the long shot. No danger for Hutchins. It'll be Ryan uh, kicking that ball. Ryan playing long, looking for Iranza. Iranza with the header. Going backwards, but the ball is recorded by Hayden ba Bargain. Bargain. Hayden with Summer. 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 Let's move back. Looking for Siren Mays. I knew we were asking for the. We're asking for the offside. Hopefully they embrace the flag. Well, they need to be careful there. Ryan with the kick again. We can by Loda. Ellen Bull. Fall with one opponent. It will be a fall for the Indians. Ten minutes here at uh, Pioneer. A bit, a bit uh, less than ten minutes played here at Pioneer Field. Pioneers and Indians tied zero to zero. As it seems to be the weekend of Katala, as the football team uh, is playing uh, up in North Carolina against Katala. That started uh, earlier, earlier this afternoon. Hutchins. Getting the team of Settlement. She's going to go with the long kick. Looking on the left side for uh, Garcia. Garcia playing with the team of the left. To Ryan. Looking again for Garcia. Backing headed to Garmin, uh, but the uh, header was not good. Ball recovered by the Indians. Some pressure by the time, some changes uh, made by uh, Coach Joy in the, in the way they play. Uh, to, to the way they find the game against uh, Columbus State. They will be the, the pressure 
caught in uh, number six, Kater Webb, um, forcing that ball to leave uh, the field. Recovering that ball for the Pioneers. Another goal kick. It'll be Ryan. Ryan. Left side. Goal is for Simon Mays. Mays trying to get rid of uh, Brittany. And that will be a car kick for the for Catava. Third corner kick so far for the, for the team from North Carolina. First uh, 11 minutes of the Casey Hahn with the kick. Gets to a teammate who headed straight to Oakland Hutchins Hans. Atkins trying to play fast for Stonebreaker, Stonebreaker. Looking for Pilotas, who loses that ball. Indians again, trying to get the first goal of the game. Nice move by number 24, Hayden Balgan. And the ball is gonna leak by the goal line, throwing for the Pioneers. The ball is recovered by number 15, Simon Miles. Tries to play on the left side. Really good pass, but then a rapid pass. The ball is recovered by the Pioneers. It'll be Arisa Timo um, with the throw in. Timo looking for Watson. trying to put some pressure on the goalkeeper. And uh, he definitely got that. He got something from the goal that way. He got in a really dangerous position by Garcia. Garcia with a really, really good pass for a stone breaker. That he's not going to get to that ball. Really, really good play there from the Pioneers with uh, Balotas putting some pressure on the goalkeeper. She can uh, get the ball with the hands. And Cross pass to the looking for the first stone breaker. Tava now with the ball, trying to start a play and trying to get the first uh, angry shot to, to spread the players. Vinny with the recovery by number four, Ellen Somerville. She brought the, the freshman. Indians with the ball. Trying to get out from the from the dangerous area. Runs under pressure. It's uh, Adam Bogan. 
Took too long and he let the players get players on the back. A stone breaker. A pass. I think he was looking for a Hellenberg play. So that pass was way too long um, for Hellenberg, which he couldn't do anything to, to get to that ball. Again, a top of play. It's uh, Saren Nance. Nance. And if uh, he really had it, it that Verdula is playing one of the best uh, of the 20 minutes so far this season. She's anticipating to every single ball really good. And, and, and she's been a pain for, for the attackers, especially for Samuel. That's going to be a ball. That's number 15, so nice. Grabbed. Um, Garcia's t-shirt. This is something that teams need to know. Whenever it's called the Pioneers, they, they need to be aware that they can uh, let uh, that girl, Brian, uh, keep balls from, from, from that area. Brian, really, really long ball. I think Ellenberg needed a girl. It looked like it. Wet ground, pioneer field. Really tactical first 20 minutes here at Pioneer Field. Only two shots made by the Indians, one on goal. Uh, Tuscan Pioneers made one shot, and it was on goal. by the senior Nancy Ellenberg. Looks like she's hurt. She's down with the trainer for all the rest of the, of the teammates. Trying to talk, trying to 
see um, how can they Welcome back here to Pioneer, uh, to Pioneer Field as the Pioneers uh, face the Catawba Indians after a uh, game. Uh, this is tough. The medical timeout. That's a, uh, it's a play from Catawba. Um, what's down? It's starting to rain here again uh, in Greenville, uh, Tennessee. And a really Cold uh, morning, a really cold day, raining. Uh, I'm sure it's uh, affecting uh, the players. Both teams tied zero to zero here after uh, 20 minutes of play. Katava uh, with five shots, three of them a goal. Only one of the pioneers made by a senior from Mosin, Tennessee, Kenzie Ellenberg. Maybe it's not even throwing. It's a game with Dillo. With that kick. side of the field. The Indians with the long pass looking for Summer. Summer. Uh, covered by Ryan. Ryan. Her with Summer. And the long one to touch it there with Summer. Goal kick for the Pioneers. Host tonight, their senior night, and they uh, honor uh, Kenzie Ellenberg, uh, Kevin Watson, Lisa Sane, Casey Stonebreaker, Caitlin Jones, Bill Murphy, and Anna Oates. Thank you, Juan. Thank you, Juan, for playing this. Ryan is 
second to Watson. I think Watson asked for him uh, to kick that ball. There's the senior from uh, Buffalo, Tennessee. Look for uh, Garcia. He had the ball. Close to the right post of the goal defender uh, in this afternoon by Jeremy Kensington. Good pass uh, for Samuel. Uh, 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 Samuel. Oh my God, that's sick. Uh, the ball for Katana. Really, really good. Uh, defended and blocked by Timo. And Indians is still with the ball. And the ball to Casey Ham. Ham. This is it. First pass and Benny blocks that. Will be a corner kick for the Phoenix. Fourth corner kick in this first half so far for the Indians. It's Casey Hahn with the kick. That's a with some danger. Number 10, Giovanna Sanchez. He looked for the, for the pass. I don't know if that was a pass or a shot. Hodgins had no problem going that. They're dual again. Forcing another loss for the Indians. And another um, goal kick by Pioneers. One minute uh, left here at Pioneer Field. And it will be Yvette Ryan with the ball. Looking for High Lotus. Well, High Lotus kind of gave like, a lot of goals there. She's a, she's a shirt, so I'm a player in the team, so I'm already trying to win with the five balls. It's super hard for him to, to get there. Throw in for the for Katana. It's Katie Webb. Defensive uh, task. He was really in the right position by Benny there, avoiding that. Um, that first pass. Again, Casey Han with the corner kick. Han. Oh. And he hits the crossbar. It's uh, number 49, Kaylee Hannans. The one that after the Really, really good um, pass on, on that corner kick uh, from uh, Casey Hahn. 
Hit it the crossbar with the really first uh, really dangerous uh, play for the, for the Indians. Here with uh, 17 minutes to play, it took them a while to to scare the Pioneers. Dini putting some pressure on Sarah Max. Twenty-four. And Morgan straight to the game. So Wilton has now the Indians get into the rhythm of the game. Now it's right whenever they are uh, getting danger to the players. Radic pass from uh, Hodges gets to Boga. Boga playing with him. He left for Boga again. Especially they force the goal kick for the players. Oh yeah, I know. It'll be Ryan putting that one in play. Central box. The pressure by Watson is really good. Makes Garcia recover the ball. And this is going to be the first goal for the Pioneers. The pressure by Watson makes the makes the Indians get a pass. Garcia read the play really, really good. She got into the box. step back and try uh, to play defense. Again, another fall for the Pioneers. It will be Ryan now with the ball. Kick. Deep past the midfield. The Pioneers can create some damage. Ryan, a long kick. Looking for Ellenberg. The ball is headed by the defender. He's watching tries to recover that ball. He will be played by number two. Watson now with the pressure. Watson playing an amazing game that we haven't seen him there. Ryan, it will be Colin, it will be Colin, it will be Colin, it Watson. Good, good, he's going to say that he can post it. He was watching the one minute before he comes out. Let's go with the ball. Danny recovered the ball, looking for Garcia. Thank you. 
Ah, you know, you fit in. Number eight, team number eight in the nation. Pretty big upset for, for the Indians. Uh, a team that honestly has nothing. To do. Uh, out of the tournament. regular season with 25 points. If they lose today, this can cost them the regular season championship. He's letting a settle down. What? Yeah. 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 the ball. Number 15, Sarah Banks. Yes. Substitution on the back. This is that ball. Hobble. Bean. Bean. Trying to decide if you play. Stone breaker. Stone breaker. Trying to get that ball past to Garcia. Luckily that um, tackle with Hannah Bunn was in offside position. She didn't get to the ball. Less than 10 minutes here in the first half. Still 10 minutes to play here on another full 45. Garcia keeping under pressure. Pressure is good. Really, uh, Hammonds who he hit it a uh, uh, ball in the crossbar so, earlier in the on the game. He's forced to throw that ball uh, to give the ball away. Timo really good anticipated to that ball there. Verdula, that's an upset. Uh, the referee calls that. Really good, Verdula. A defensive uh, task there. She's playing an amazing defensive game. She's only a freshman. The 
Second substitution for the Pioneers as Brianna Oates gets into the field. Uh, Anna Garcia is going to take a, a break here with 7.25 to play at Pioneer Field. Could be a really big upset by the Pioneers here on their senior day. Vinny playing uh, with, uh, by Lotus, by Lotus, but she has no room to go anywhere. Or be covered by the Indians. Again, or be covered by, by Lotus. Tries to play with Oates. Again, anticipating to the ball and helping McFarlane to recover it. And I'll lose it again. The ball is for Simon Mays. 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 With that. Good pass. And he's blocked by Ryan. Couldn't get the ball out. A long pass. A long shot, sorry, by Casey Han. No danger for the Pioneers. Five minutes only here to play in this first half. The Pioneers, they don't have the, the, the control of the ball, but it looks like they have the control of the game. Uh, and letting, uh, him, letting Kataba have the ball as much as they want, but not letting them uh, get close to the goal area. And get a short ball, or a really goal, and really clear uh, ball opportunities. Out, or Ellenberg, Ellenberg. Or by Lotus himself, so. Kick it. Heavens. A long pass to Summer. 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 Web. Controlling straight to Beanie's hand. She hits the ball out. That's Ellen. It's closer to the ball now. Web. And the same. Heather from Beanie now gets to Ellen Bruce. Fifth. She was able to play with Oates in Washington. Watson putting some pressure. Last stretch of the game. We need to focus on this last three minutes of 30 seconds. We get to the top ten. This is for Sidney Kimo. Brought it in the past. And guess who was there? Yeah, he was Maya Gardulo again. Walking another pass. Joanna Santo. Well. Just gonna break it. Substitution. 
corner substitution for Katara. This might be on her finding the way to to defeat the pioneers here at Pioneer Field. Timo with the throw in. He's looking for Watson. Passes it to Pioneer. Oates. And then you can see the two men talking to him. To here. to play here for the um, goal kick for the Indians as Jamie Gainson Meyer is gonna put that ball in play. Heavens. Green touch pass in the end, but Dulo anticipating to that ball. Timo. Almost to the wrong spot. Getting on the pressure now with uh, Mace. Mace for Webb. 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 One minute remaining in the first half. One minute. Ryan. Um, Ryan will be the last man touching that ball. Maybe a quarter kick for the Indians. It's patient. Han, the one that going to kick the ball. Han. Headed out by Timo. Giovanna Sanchez, but I think they will fall. The Indians touch a uh, fucking Brooklyn Hutchins. And the first half, I'm assuming that it's going to die here with this uh, kick. Oh, Eight, seven, seven, six, five, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And this will be the score. Score halftime, Tuscan one, Catalba zero. 15 minutes here at Pioneer Sports Network, presented by the SAC Digital Network. Come back in 15 minutes for more women's soccer um, here at Pioneer Network. Thank you very much.
It's fine, it'll be okay, okay? Nobody, nobody cares about the flowers. Who needs flowers at a, a wedding? At Ingalls, we know that the best of plans don't always go according to plan. My best friend's getting married today and the florist never showed. That's why we're always there when you need us. What are their colors? Purple and cream. With smiling faces and helping hands. No one cares, no one cares you will look great. Flowers are not important. And where is Holly? Uh, have you, any, anyone seen Holly? And although life will be predictably unpredictable. Let's get you to that wedding. A curveball is that much more satisfying. I got the flowers! When you knock it out of the park. Oh my gosh, it's awesome! So when the plan goes out the window and improvisation becomes the order of the day, just remember, that's where the best of memories are made. All right, they're ready for us. True story. Ingalls, all the ingredients for family. Johnson City Toyota is the number one Toyota dealership in the Tri-Cities because we make buying simple. First, we discount every vehicle every day, and we stand behind what we sell with a lifetime warranty. For more, simply go to johnsoncitytoyota.com. The first date. Only one chance to make that first impression. Don't worry. This might be new for you, but Ingalls has been there before. From flowers to the freshest ingredients, we have everything you need to put your best foot forward. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Remember, <laughs> you can't get to happily ever after <laughs> without once upon a time. Wow, funny running to Ingalls, <laughs> all the ingredients for family. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? In NCAA Division Two, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Broken windshield, take one. Hey guys, my windshield just got broken. I feel like I need to blow off some steam. Let's in NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours.
Granger County, Tennessee, here at Pierce Farms, and uh, the Pierce family has been working with Ingalls for over 30 years. It means a great deal supplying uh, produce as a local farmer. Uh, it really touches base knowing that we're just simple people just trying to help, and we love what we do, and Ingalls is a huge part of helping us do it. Farming is who we are, and it's in our blood. God has really blessed us with the sun and the soil to grow the best tomatoes you'll find anywhere. <laughs> I believe it's really in the soil. So if you're in Granger County and you farm tomatoes, then you're, you're in. <laughs> Just a great blessing on us to actually farm and be able to farm and to supply tomatoes to people. And Ingalls really cares about family farms like Pierce Farms, and they really care about their customers. We're just glad to be a part of that. God has blessed us with a really great partnership there. They make fresh local produce have real meaning for lots of people. I'm Shane Pierce, and this is my Ingle story. Tusculum University is Tennessee's first university. Established in 1794, Tusculum's beautiful campus is nestled in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. Students from 31 states and 15 countries have found a home here. With nearly 60 areas of study, Tusculum can help you pioneer your path to success. Visit www.tusculum.edu or call 423-636-7300 to discover the pioneer experience for yourself. Champions know how to seize opportunities. When they see moments of greatness unfold right before their eyes, they push as hard as they possibly can, and then they push harder. Because the heart of a champion never settles, never quits, and never stops giving its all. We are champions. We are Division II. We go big, we give it everything we've got, and we win on the field, on our campuses, in our communities, for our causes, in our careers. We rise to become champions in everything we do. We are Division II and there are no limits here. We make our time count. We set our own path. We become champions on our terms. It's time to up your game because we're here to play and learn. But most importantly, we're here to discover ourselves our vision, our heart, our drive to achieve every goal we aim for because we want to be champions at the highest level, life. At Division II, the opportunities are here. Are you ready? Family. Food's here! What's it mean to you? To us, it means the people you care about, look out for, and yeah, love. Even if you'd never let them hear you say it. Hey, you're eating hummus? What's wrong with hummus? Here at Ingalls, we have everything you need to gather around the table and give each other a hard time. Because that's what families do. Ingalls, all the ingredients for family. Hello, my name is Jacob Fate. Welcome back to the Pioneer Spot, uh, Sports Network presented by SAG Live here at Pioneer uh, Field at the Niles Wonker Sports Complex at the Pioneers are upsetting number <laughs> team number 8 in the nation the Indians after the goal uh, by Brianna Garcia in the first half uh, at the Pioneers tackle on the right side of the field that's how we will be attacking to the left. First ball here. <laughs> oh. Timo hit uh, hard with the head. Uh, number 10, uh, Giovanna Sanchez. And the referee had to start the game and, and, and call the trainer in. It was a really, really hard hit to start the first half. For the second half, sorry.
I was going to give that ball back to the players. A chance. Same starters from the second half for the first half. Abed the Indians are gonna um, get out really hard in this uh, second half. They're uh, fighting for a conference championship. Uh, and the victory today. What it's gonna get them. Hutchins. Walk it. She's gonna look for a stop breaker there. Some pressure from Cindy Kimmel. Not for the Indians. Going on for the Tigers, Timo. With the long kick. Gets to Katie Beck. Kicked away by Maya Gordillo. Hutchins. Hutchins. With the bounce around to the head. Or Garcia. Garcia. Contra-attack, pass and 
Cordula gets there, covers that ball, and passes it to Pini on the left side. She has uh, Garcia wide open, and she saw it and passes it to Garcia. Garcia playing a little bit around to Pirante. Lose the ball. Image for Samuel. Samuel turned with uh, Ryan. Ryan, avoid it. To get that ball, come to Bolivia. Maybe a goal kick for the Pioneers. Ryan with the kick. Looking for Watson, but gets a ball down to the ground and she tackles. Slides to avoid the attack to get to that ball. Garcia there. Last one to touch that ball was a Catala player. Ellenberg. Long throw in. Way too long. I'll say, under pressure, I just press on the banner side to pass that ball for uh, Sidney Gimbo. Sidney Gimbo. Try to get that pass to Samuel. 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 It is plucked. Uh, Brooklyn Hutchins. Timo. Don't break it. With Summers now. For Sanchez, straight to Hutchinson. And, and they're gonna take forever here. Took way too long. And, and, and she had uh, Garcia wide open on there, and, and they kind of started the counter attack. Ball for Watson. Watson needs to get rid of that ball for Timo. Timo with a lot of pressure. I keep the asking for a handball, and the referee saw that, calls that a handball. First 10 minutes here on the second half, and the Pioneers are holding the Indians. <laughs> team number eight in the nation, first in the southeastern region. Ryan. Looking for my Lotus. Sanchez opening the ball for Gimo. Gimo. Her with uh, Timo. Gimo taking her time. Pass it back to Sanchez. Sanchez for Casey Han. Han for Sanchez. Sanchez for Han. Samuel with the ball. She gets to a really dangerous position and the ball is blocked by Hutchins. She got to um, the goal line, passed the ball back, uh, looking for Giovanna Sanchez and Hutchins uh, stepped up. Make a really nice save. Webb with the kick. Looking 
for Samaril. And it's starting to rain pretty hard here again at Pioneer Field in a really cold day in Tennessee. Vinny with Iranzo. Iranzo with Vinny. And Vinny trying to pass again. Hits a defender uh, from the Indians, forcing the throw in. Vinny for Ellen. Um, lost ball. That's going to be a fall. But Ellenberg. Indians now playing. It's um, Katie Beck. Nice ball. To the middle. Really good pass to the space for Sydney Gimo. Gimo on the goal line. Pass it back. And block. Kicked away by um, Gordillo. Gimo again. And a nice block by Hutchins. As don't really know what uh, happened there, but looked like there could be a, a couple falls on, on, on that play. Another ball recovered by the Indians now, putting a lot of pressure on the Pioneer. Gimo. Played it with uh, 16, Emery Harrington. And that's another goal kick for the Pioneer. Ryan. What? Heads it to Balotas, Balotas with Watson again. Stonebreaker is outside. Now she gets back in, in, into the line. Stonebreaker with the cross pass. Headed out. Again, recovered by uh, Caitlin Watson, the senior from Montfort, Florida, Tennessee. Passes it to Miss Stonebreaker. Stonebreaker looking for Ellenburg. Ellenburg to try to shot, and that shot almost ended up as a pass. Really nice for uh, Garcia. It will be a goal kick for the Indians. That play fast with uh, Kelly Heavens. Looks a long pass looking for uh, Gimo, who recovers the ball now. Gimo getting some uh, space there. And Ellenberg trying to get a deep pass for Garcia. It looks like she got scared by the ball. Gimo. Heaven. Playing long. Ryan with all the advantage here. And she gets the ball to Timo. Timo for Watson. Watson. Oh, looking for Andy. I think Ellenberg get that girl down. Yeah. That play. That was a uh, okay. team all. He covers that ball, gets it to Summerhill. Summerhill for uh, Gimo. Gimo. There and again. Really well defended by Gardulo, who kicks that ball away. Getting a corner kick for the Indians. Eighth one on this game. Indian with the corner kick. 
but it's not really good. Bini got that ball. Got it to Giovanna Sanchez, and Bini falls. Giovanna Sanchez on a really, really dangerous uh, part of the field. It's really center. About, uh, let's say, 25 yards from the goal handed by Brooklyn Hutchins. And she's going to get a yellow card for that. Gonna be Gimo, the one that kicks that ball. Sophomore from uh, Shelburne. Gimo. She's gonna shoot or she shoot it. She hit it by Lotus. And the ball is now for Webb. That gets the pass. And it's gonna be a corner kick after the either Gordulo or Ryan kick that ball away. Casey Han running to kick that corner kick. 29 minutes to play. And to the first post. And the ball is got blocked by Adjins. That pass is no good. It will be a ball for the Pioneers. Come on. Goal kick. Ryan. With Watson. Watson gets the ball down. With Garcia. Garcia. With a really nice ball for Bailota. Bailota seeing a stonebreaker wide open on the right side. That long shot. Looking for the goal on the, on the goal defended by Kenson Mayer. Stonebreaker with another recovery. Plays it with by Lotus. By Lotus with some pressure from Giovanna Sanchez. The ball for Garcia. Garcia on the floor. And that can be a penalty. She's gonna, it looks like she, she got hurt on that, on that play. Long pass, and Garcia's still hurt. That was the, uh, really, really nice uh, attempt by the Pioneers. Really good two plays there with the with the shot from Stonebreaker and then uh, later the, 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 the really good pass from the play by Van Lotus and Watson. Started with a recover of uh, Stonebreaker. And the shot by Samersmell gets to the side of the net. I'm just watching the replay on the on the play before by Garcia, and I don't think the the, the defender does that on purpose. But but as soon as he's uh, standing up, um, she she gets down to the floor again by the defender. So that, that can be a penalty. Ryan, I think it's the first bad kick that she's had on, on, on this game. 
It'll be Casey McLean playing back for Ke uh, for Heaven. For Samish now. Samish now for Gimo. Gimo. Defended by Timo. Timo with Gimo. Timo! Gets to the floor and avoids that pass to get to the to a dangerous position. 11th corner kick for the Indians here at Pioneer Field. Will be again uh, Casey Han with the kick. Han. And Timo gets to that ball faster than anyone. Watson. He wants that ball away from the from the dangerous area. And he gets it straight to Katie Webb. Summer now. With another nice cover by Ryan. And it'll be the 12th corner kick for the Indians. And again, Casey Han will be the one putting that ball in play. 14 shots, eight of them in gold so far for the Indians. And he raises up ahead. And the goal for the Indians. After 12 corners, Han assisted. One of one of one of her teammates tying the game. The double goal is scored by number 22, Katie Beck. The sister by number 17, Casey Hart. Like Katie Beck. Yeah, one of the central backs. So goal number seven this season for Katie Beck. Something new weird. And now the Indians with uh, that momentum looking for Gino with a really long pass that looks really good. Giovanna Sanchez here on the on, on the attack for Samuel. Samuel defended by Ryan. Ryan. Samuel playing with Gimo. Gimo with the pass. Holds again for uh, Katava. Beanie putting some pressure, recovers that ball. Summerville hits uh, Gordulo. Gordulo with the tackle, forcing the throwing for the Indians. Webb playing with uh, Sharon Mays. In. Web. And there's a uh, pioneer player on the, on the ground. Looks like he bet Ryan. She has no problem to to get up and keep playing here. Hodgins. Hodgins. The ball lost. Giovanna Sanchez with the recovery, looking for Summer. Summerill. Gonna get there. The stone breaker. Trying to get rid of my plan. And now they will be covered by the Indians. Um, it's Casey Hen. Hen. With Samuel. Adam. With the Adam. Looking for number 19, Hannah Dan. Dan. For Sanchez. Sanchez. They pass for Samuel. And Hodgins get to that ball.
Hodgins with the kick. Looking for Iranzo. Iranzo pushing to Garcia. And Iranzo gets hit with that ball, forcing the throw in. Talking to, to the head, to uh, Tascom's coach, Mike Yoy, who's on his uh, 25th season here at Tascom, 30th overall. Giovanna Sanchez. That pass. Nice. Again for Sanchez. Sanchez with the cut. And he gets down to the ground. Could have been a really dangerous one for the for the Indians. Hodgins with the kick, looking for some back there. Now the Pioneers, they after the goal, and they first started, they first stopped doing uh, all the things that they were doing here. They need to 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 reorganize again. And we'll try to go for that go because the Indians they they've took all the control over the over this uh, second half. Twenty minutes to play here, and the Toshkom is tying. It's tied one to one against team number eight in the nation. Vision two. It's Hannah Dunn. Dunn. With the shot. Straight to the hands of uh, Argent. Argent. The kick is straight to Santa. Santa opening that door. Pioneers now. Uh, Recovered it by Benny. Again, lost the ball with Reed. We're getting a lot of passes in. Together in Tamarmel. With the shot blocked by a defender. The ball leaves the the field by the goal line it will be a throw in for the Indians. And that will be a substitution on the on Tusculum. Same one as in the first field. He runs to lose the field and Ashley McFarlane gets back in. Tackled by a uh, defender, forcing the throw in. It Benny. Benny for Watson. Watson tries to turn around and she achieves that. <laughs> he was surrounded by five defenders. So, really uh, hard one. Benny looking for by Lotus and now with a counter attack for the Indians that cannot get there. And another ball recorded by Watson. Opening on the left side for um, Ellenberg. Had to get that crush pass to Stump Breaker. And it got blocked by Kenton Mayer. Kenton Mayer. Looking for the long play. But the ball is recovered by Timo. Timo with an erratic pass. Another followed by another rapid pass by the 
in the end. He will be all over that ball now. Really fast. Yeah. Brian gets there. <laughs> Helps. He's covering that ball again. He will be a ball for the Pioneers. Beanie with the throw in. Look for Watson and lost that ball. Atala with the ball. They're now trying to, they're gonna try to start the play again. The ball for Gima. Gima. There's some pressure by Van Lorde. Gima opened that ball to Hannah Than. Than. Gets the ball out of bounds and it will be a throw in. And that will be covered by the player here. Watson with some pressure, couldn't do anything there. And Katana recovers that one. It's Hanadan. Dan. With some pressure by Benny. Who forced the throw in, the goal kick for the Pioneer. Ryan, gonna kick that ball. Ryan, second kick, it doesn't get to anyone from Ryan. 15 minutes to play here at the nice Wonder Sport Complex in Pioneerville. Michael played fast for Gimo. Now we are throwing for the Indians. McLam who put that ball in play. Looking for Samaro. Samaro. With a teammate. The shot was blocked. And again. 22 in the recovery. Place it with that. Giovanna Sanchez. Sanchez opening it to Gima. 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 And she goes for a long shot. And again, anywhere. Back line. Open the ball to the left side of the field to play with Gima. Gima with some pressure from McFarlane. McFarlane almost forced in the fall. Too forced with the. Uh, an erratic pass from uh, from Gimo. Arisa Timo. Looking to play with by Lotus. Having another throw in. Uh, same setup for the Pioneers. Timo. Now uh, looking for Garcia. With some pressure by uh, Michael. And that's a uh, long pass by Katara, number 19. Hannah Dunn with the ball. Dunn with the pass and it's an outside. Anyway, doesn't really matter because she didn't make it. It was a really, really uh, dangerous one for the Pioneers. And again, Ryan is going to kick the ball. Gets it uh, past midfield. For Timo, Timo. Way too slow there. And Sanchez recovered the ball, playing with Anadan. Near the goal line. 
Ryan couldn't get that ball out, and at least uh, Hutchins could block it. Hutchins putting that ball in play. Gets it to Katara. Sanchez will be the cover for number 17. Case it down. That for Gimo. Gimo. Again. And again, with pressure from Verdul uh, on another recover. He's playing an amazing game, Verdul. Hemian's now going to try it on the, on the other side of the field, on the right side. It's uh, Katie Webb. Samarill, Samarill, here with uh, Ryan. The Indians. For Kimo, Kimo. Gonna try that shot. And he'll be out. Goal kick for the Pioneers. 10 minutes here to play. That was the shot number 18th for the Indians. for Ellenberg. She gets to that ball. Ashley McFarlane. Too slow. Pass the ball to Gimo. Gimo playing with the uh, central backs. For Keith, uh, Casey Han. Han. Katie Webb. Katie Webb. For Samuel. Samuel. Pass. Hits uh, Ryan. Throw in for the Indians. Headed by Ryan, and it will be a goal kick. Katawa bent, and their substitutes uh, were not too happy with that decision made by the referee. Again, Ryan. by Allen Summer. <laughs> Indians now trying to play with Samarell. Samarell with the cross pass straight to Hutchins hands. Hutchins, taking her time. Oh, looking for Watson. With some pressure by Kimo. That San Giovanna Santos recovers that ball. Passes it, passes it to uh, Kimo, who's brought down by Ashley McFarlane. And that's going to be a hole for the Indians. that game for the Indians who we'll put that ball in play straight to the hands and a really nice save by Hopkins she just saved the pioneers there she uh, Kate Katie Beck she called the play I don't know if she was trying to distract uh, 
the Tuscan defense, but it looked like he, she was not going to get the shot. He was going to try to get a pass. A really nice save by Hodgins. McFarlane there. And the Pioneers were lucky there. Now Garcia blocked that one. And another shot by the Indians. That is no good. Five, bit over five minutes here to play. Tuscal Misafarins. Some breaker. Now recovered by the Indians. It can be covered by Giovanna Sanchez. Now Gimo plays with Samuel. Samuel with the cross pass. And that will be another corner kick for the Indians. 15th of this game. Toscombe has not had a single corner kick. And, uh, these 85 minutes that, that we've played. 20 shots for the Indians, five for the Pioneers. Both of those of the Indians were on goal. The Indians with the kick, and Watson is gonna kick that ball away. Samuel. Pass. Can I get anywhere? Garcia now. Looking for uh, Ellenberg. Ellenberg there on her senior night. And she's bring down by Katie Beck. A really nice, uh, really nice steal there by the Indians. Gimo, the pass, and the referee is going to stop now. Again. And it looks like she's uh, fine. I think he just showed a uh, yellow card to someone on the bench. Oh, yeah, neutral ball for the Pioneers. Hutchins. Taking her time. Hutchins with a kick. Looking for Timo. Timo. Gonna get to Timo, but he gets to Watson. And Watson with some pressure. Gets that ball away. Pioneers recovered after Samuel. Um, you need to that ball to get out of bounds. Uh, again. Out of the goal line. Of the line. Ivana Sanchez with the cover for Samuel. Samuel for Gimo. 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 Well defended by Timo. for Gimo. Gimo playing for McLamp. McLamp. Looking for Samuel. And Cordillo kicks the ball away. Gimo is down. Lamp. 
Milan. Looking for his teammate. Pressured by Rubillo. Ryan. Indians are going to probably have uh, on this play. One minute Sometimes remaining in the second half, one minute. There's a regular 90 minutes. I think it's probably the, the first game, or one of the few games where they found the, the, the less amount of substitutions, only one in the second half. Ellenberg, with that ball, and almost got the the winning goal on that last shot, on that last, on that last shot. Team all there, looking for Garcia. And we'll go to two, overtime. We'll be back with you soon. Zero. 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 That is the end of the second half. For Hustle and Morton, the top of one, we'll have a five minute intermission and then begin overtime.
and we are back here at Pioneer Sports Network presented by Suck Live at Pioneer Field for the um, first over time between the Tuscaloosa Pioneers and the Catawba Indians, team number eight in the nation. And Pioneers tied after taking the l after um, they were on the lead for. Um, almost like 60 minutes of uh, <laughs> of this game of Pioneers playing one of their best uh, games of the season so far the ball is for Arisa Timo again uh, the the Indians have had all control over the game they are dominating this game, so well, t a, a, a really good uh, defensive effort by the Pioneers. But some of the numbers during the first uh, 90 minutes of the game: 21 shots for the Indians, 12 of them on goal. Only five for the Pioneers, four of them on goal. But still, um, Catawba is out shooting uh, Tuscaloosa. They've had 15 corner kicks. Tusculum has had none during the first 90 minutes of the game. But Tusculum also could have won the game on the last play of, of the 90 minutes. Now Ryan with a kick. Hannah Dunn playing with Samuel. Samuel loses the ball. Uh, after the pressure made by by Lotus, Indians trying to to get that goal. Team number one in the uh, in the sack, number one in the region, eighth in the nation. So pretty good uh, day for the Pioneers if they if they can tie. Either tie or win this game. Ryan is gonna kick that goal kick. Ryan with the long ball looking for McFarlane. McFarlane heads that ball and it's gonna be automatically out. Ball for Katie Webb. Webb. Looking for a teammate there, and she gets to there. Really good pressure by Benny. Recovers that ball, and Watson doesn't want to know anything about it. Evans looking for Summer, Summerell, Summerell with the ball, and with the goal after a really, really long pass by Kelly Evans. This will be the end of the game here as the Pioneers lose against number 8, the Catawba Indians. For more information about the Tusculum Pioneers and, rec uh, and the post-game recap, visit pioneers.com. Thank you for joining us today at Pioneer Sports Network, presented by, by SAC Life. The winning goal is for number four, Helen Summerall. The system at number 22, Katie Beck. Fighters will be home on Wednesday against Queens, beginning at 5 o'clock in their final match of the 2021 regular season. Coming up.